All right, so if you have a uh, bolt that's snapped off in an engine block or in anything really. I was going to show you how to get it out with a bolt extraction kit, but that didn't work, so uh, you're, you're going to see so you're going to see me drill it out and tap new threads into the engine block. One well, of the first things you want to do is determine how deep the bolt holes are because you really don't want to drill in deeper than they are. So you stick it in an empty one, put a piece of tape or something on your drill bit, and just make sure you don't go in that far. So you take your drill bit. And drill. You want to go straight, as straight in as possible. After I drilled through the bolt stud with a smaller drill bit, I go to a larger drill bit that's about the same size as the bolt stud. The smaller drill bit makes a nice little pilot hole through the uh, bolt, so uh, when it comes time to drill with the larger bit, it kind of guides it through uh, the center of the stud. That's where you want it to be. And there it just blew through the bottom of the stud. Just gonna tap some new threads into the hole. Um, basically, an easy way to figure out what size tap you need, you just put it into one of the good holes, and spin it in there and see if it fits. I mean, you're supposed to use uh, cutting oil, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use motor oil. And I really don't care because this is my own tap and die set. I'm going to do what I want. So just apply some, apply some pressure, slowly turn the tap in. Something will ca catch eventually. It's really important not to force this, otherwise you're gonna break the tap. If you break the tap off in there, you're not drilling that out. You wanna bring it back out pretty often. To clean the threads off.
once you think you're in far enough, put a piece of tape around where you are and compare it with length of one of these holes is. I really just keep going until they match. And of course since you can't drill excessively into the block, or the head rather in this case, you may not have threads going all the way to the bottom of the hole because the end of the tap is not threaded. That's not a big deal. Your bolt only has to go in so far. There you go. Drive your bolt in. Everything is good again. So thanks for watching. This was footage that I had from like a year ago that I never got around to putting together. Uh, the engine's a 454 in case you're wondering. Um, if you liked the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.